Hello and welcome to wireless communication lecture series. Now we are going to start with very important theory which is free space propagation model and this free space propagation model is used to predict receive signal strength when the transmitter and receiver have clear unobstructed line of sight path between them. So the aim of this theory is to find out or predict the receive signal strength when there is no obstacle between this transmitter and the receiver. This kind of scenario happens in the satellite communication system as well as in a microwave line of sight radio wave propagation model. As I told you in my first lecture of this lecture series, in cellular system at mobile tower we have two types of antenna, radio wave antenna and the microwave antenna. Microwave antenna will communicate with each other. Microwave antenna is used to communicate with another cellular tower. So in this case there will be always a line of sight between these two mobile towers. So we will see how we can calculate the received signal strength for a free space. So now let us see the equation for predicting received signal strength. So it is given by the free, free space equation and it says that PRD equal to PT GTGR lambda square divided by 4 pi d whole square into L. So here PRD is the receive power at a distance d. So distance is between the transmitter and the receiver and PT is the transmitting power, the transmitted power by this particular transmitter. GT and GR are the gain of transmitter and the gain of receiver. Lambda is the wavelength of a signal. It will depend upon the what kind of frequency we are using for communication. And L is the system loss factor which is not related to propagation but it will be always greater than or equal to 1. For example, you can consider a filter loss. This is loss and antenna loss. So you can now understand that we can estimate the receive power at this particular location with the help of all this parameter. We, we should know the what is transmitted power, what is the gain of transmitter and receiver, what is the wavelength of a signal and what are the distance between the transmitter and receiver. Now let us see the another parameter that are helpful to calculate all these things. So the first parameter is antenna gain and the gain of antenna is related to the effective aperture and it is given by g equal to 4 pi ae by lambda square and this we know that lambda is equal to c by f which is equal to 2 pi c by omega c this c is the speed of light and ultimately we can say that the effective aperture is also related to the wavelength of a signal and this will help us to calculate the gain of the antenna if you are interested in effective isotropic radiated power so it is given by the PT into GT. So here PT is the transmitting power and GT is the gain of antenna. Just for an example, let us consider the gain of antenna is 2. Power transmitted by transmitter is 10 watt. So gain is unitless. So ultimately we will have the output as a 20 watt. Now if you will increase the power, let's say if you will make it as 30. So we will have output as a 60 watt power. So this is how we can calculate the gain of antenna and the effective isotropic radiated power. Another thing that is very important in this theory is a path loss. Now first of all what we mean by path loss. Path loss is defined as difference between the effective transmitted power and the received power. So let's say the transmitter is transmitting a 10 watt and receiver is only able to receive the 8 watt. So what we will say that the 2 watt power is lost in between this communication. So the path loss is defined as the difference between the effective transmitted power and the received power. So it represents the signal attenuation, how much signal is attenuated as a positive quantity and measure in the decibel. So the path loss for the free space model 
when antenna gain are included is given by this particular equation so in first slide we have discussed about the receive power by the freeze formula first thing we have considered that we have the loss factor is 1 and let's take this equation as pt by pr so this pt divided by pr equal to now this will be in the numerator so 4 pi d whole square and this particular term will be in denominator that is gtgr lambda square if you will take a log of this so that is tan log pt by pr equal to now again the log of these things so tan log 4 pi d whole square divided by gtgr lambda square so what we have done is consider the log at both side and then if we will again solve it if we will take this term into numerator then we will have the minus tan log gtgr lambda square divided by 4 pi d square so this is the equation for the path loss and if we exclude the antenna gain then the path loss is given by tan log pt by pr which will be equal to minus tan log lambda square divided by 4 pi d square because this gain are considered as a 1. So now whatever path loss that we have discussed it cannot be applied to the very close object near to the transmitter because the freeze formula is valid for predictor for PR values of D which are in the far field of the transmitting antenna and how we can get the far field distance so the far field distance is calculated by this equation that is df equal to 2d square by lambda so here capital d is the largest physical linear dimension of antenna and depending upon this distance we can apply the freeze formula or we can find out the path loss only after this df distance let me give you one example let's say here we have our transmitter now let's consider as per this equation we have this as a df the close in reference distance that we are going to say and now this is our cell now let's say mobile is at this position and if you want to calculate the path loss then it is okay but if it it is under the close in reference distance if mobile station is over here then here we cannot apply the free space formula so it is not true for the distance which is less than the close in reference distance so now after considering the friend of a distance the receive power at particular distance d is given by pr d0 d0 is a close in reference distance for d equal to 0 this equation is not true so we will consider some d0 distance so let's say instead of 0 meter we will consider a 100 meter or whatever close in reference distance depending upon the friend of a distance and this is how we can calculate the received power and if we will write this equation in terms of a log then it is given by prd in dbm so this is tan log prd0 this term divided by we want to write in milli so we will divide it by milliwatt so 0.001 watt plus because we have a multiplication and d0 square so it will be a 20 log d0 by d this is how we can calculate the receive power at particular distance i hope this lecture is helpful to you thank you so much for watching this video